Hi everybody, I'm Jen and we have a new opensource.com top five for you this Friday. Let's kick it off. At number five, we kicked off this week with a poll asking, what's your preferred text editor? We have over 550 votes so far with VI in the lead and tons of comments from readers sharing their favorite uh, text editor from Kate to Notepad++ to Sublime and many others. So take this poll if you haven't yet. At number four, Chase Crum shares his Linux story with us for the My Linux Story series. He learned Linux as part of his military service in the United States Army and later took positions as a Linux engineer for companies like Dell and Sprint. Today, Chase uses Fedora 22 and owes much of his life success to a mentor and to Linux. You can read more about Chase's amazing story on the homepage. At number three, five open source tools for taming text. Text is everywhere, and when unstructured text enters your field of view, do you know what open source tools to turn to for things like cinema analysis, topic identification, automatic labeling of content, and the like? Grant Ingersoll gives you the goods, plus a few books to check out for more background on text processing. Finally, at number two, Python and, Raspberry, uh, Python and Raspberry Pi in education. Ben Nuttall of the Raspberry Pi Foundation tells us that Python is the go-to language for most of their uh, activities and projects. You can find out more about that and why in this article. Finally, at number one this week, five open source alternatives to Google Docs. New writer for opensource.com, Tatiana Dakova, covers five open source alternatives to tools for writing, document collaboration, and much more. So if your team is looking for a new open source tool to get the job done, use this article to find out more about Gobby, Etherpad, Firepad, OnlyOffice, and OwnCloud documents. All right, thanks everybody for joining me for the top five this week. We have a top five every Friday. You can check it out on our YouTube channel and Facebook. Thanks.